Win as one. EA Sports, FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. Right, let's move on, Joe. It's time for What's Trending. We know the rules by now. The guests get a minute to debate three of the hottest, hottest topics hottest. from social media in the world of football. Uh, over to you, mate. Carry on. <laughs> I don't know what's Yeah, right. Let's crack straight on with trend number one, then. It's all about Virgil van Dijk, who suffered a major ACL knee injury after a tackle by Jordan Pickford. Is Jurgen Klopp wishing him the best. He says we're there for him. He knows that we'll wait for him like a good wife is waiting when the husband is in jail. Uh, right. Let's not mess about then. Let's get straight into this talking point. Can Liverpool win the league <laughs> without Virgil van Dijk? Chunks, I'm coming to you first because you're an inch away from your camp. Hmm. Half an inch. Um, brother, I'll be honest. Big loss. I don't think they have it. I swear to God. Now, I, I'll be honest. You know what it is? Fabinho in the back against the Atletico Madrid. It looked good. It did look safe and nice. And But I feel like you just need van Dijk to stay fit for the whole season. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard. Very, very hard. Um, yeah, I, I, I think maybe. It depends. I want to see some more games. I, I don't think so. Steve, <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you, are you saying Liverpool can still win the league even with an injury this big? Um, I think they were that good. They would remember how far they finished ahead of everyone else. So they was that good. They could probably afford to lose a few games. But I just want... Liverpool fans to keep the strategy in when you said that Van Dijk was that good for you and he was that important for you just know he's going to be that important of a miss for you in it there you go Ooh, look sense. at that timing professional timing there from Steve-O the madman love to see it Smith <laughs> love that okay trend two is about the European oh, Super League so guys I'm going to give you a bit of context about what we know about this uh, before oh we went a bit early there but uh, j- just a little bit of context about this before we get to what people are saying uh, there are some details you need to know. Uh, Liverpool and Man United are in talks over the new league being backed by FIFA. The proposals could include five English sides with the league estimated to be worth £4.6 billion. The proposals would see more than a dozen teams across England, France, Germany, Italy and Spain become founding members, provisional date being as early as 2022. It wouldn't replace the Premier League, so the clubs would still be involved in that, but it could replace the Champions League due to the fact the tournament will be played midweek. I'm sure you've had enough time to read that tweet from Luis Figo, but basically, Luis Figo is not happy. Football should unite. Everyone should oppose it. So they are the thoughts of Luis Figo. Uh, let's have our second trend now. Then our second trend is, would a European Super League be bad for football? 60 seconds on the clock. Steve-O, what are your thoughts, mate? Yeah, I think it would be, um, especially now, like what Gary Neville said, the fact that looking about this during the pandemic, Pandemic is mental. We don't even know what's going to happen next week, let alone building leagues that cost four billion. What a waste of money, you know what I mean? So um, I believe we should just chill out and, and, and let it settle and see where we go with this, man. I would like to see the top teams playing each other, but we see that anyway, man. So I don't get it. Chuck, Steve, I've had a good point there about the timing of this. Obviously, we're in a pandemic and, and with everything going on in football. Um, are you agreeing with him that the timing's a bit suspect and do you think this would be bad for football? I want to see top quality football create the league. No, I'm joking. Um, if you want me to be honest, <laughs> yeah, timing, timing's not, it's not, it's not appropriate. Um, obviously, it would be nice to see that kind of quality football every week, but it's just a greed thing and everyone's, everyone's trying to profit off it. So, um, timing, yeah, not great. Idea, potentially, but then it could yeah. also mean that players are at risk at injuries. So, do I want to see it? Yes, I do. Ooh. Oh, okay, perfect timing. <laughs> Controversial opinion as well. I love to see it. Right, let's move on to trend number three. This one's about Premier League squads because, of course, Phil Jones was left out of Man United's. Meza Ozil's was left out of Arsenal's. But there was a new name or a returning name on the Chelsea squad list, that of mm. Petr Cech being included. Here's some Chelsea fans saying, I'm crying. Lampard is so fed up of Kepa. He's forced Cech out of retirement, um, which I thought was so interesting that he was actually willing to put him in there. Chelsea, of course, saying that it's in only for emergencies if a COVID situation was to happen. But I want to know, which retired player would you take back at your club? Steve, I'm going to come to you first. 60 seconds on the clock. It's a bit of a thinker, this one, so I hope you've got an answer prepared. No, it's not. No, it's not. Di Canio. D Canio. <laughs> he like loves to the Canio. I love the Canio. And I'd also like to see where he would fit in this modern uh, social media era. Because I remember seeing videos of him in Italy on the little Vespa. <laughs> 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 I mean, before we even had videos. You know what I mean? We, we used to, like, he was ahead of his time, man. So, yeah, the Canio. 
Canio coming back for Steve-O then. Who are you bringing back for Arsenal, Chunks? Um, I'm bringing back Ozil because he's obviously retired. I don't know what's happening. To him, so. <laughs> are you actually um, going to bring back um, Ozil? <laughs> bro, we just need a playmaker. If, if, if he brings back the first season, uh, so then I'll take him every day of the week because I feel like we've got Thomas Party in there for, you know what I mean, to, to mm. shore up everything in defence. But just that playmaker. could have brought back Tony Adams Danny... at centre-half. No, no, me, me and Tony, me and Tony, I like Tony, but I reckon... In all honesty, I'll probably bring back, yeah, I'll probably bring back a, a solid centre-back. Um, but I also want to see Ezra come back into the squad, definitely, man. 